Philip Lee could now face the death penalty. The Wayne County prosecutor just enhanced the charges against Philip Lee. So tonight, Rich Nye looks into the new court filings against the man accused of shooting the young officer in the head. The Wayne County prosecutor filed amended charges against Philip Lee on Friday. The prosecutor is now asking for the death penalty if Lee is convicted of murder in the shooting death of Richmond Police Officer Sierra Burton. Burton and her canine Brev joined a traffic stop on August 10th just after 6.30 p.m. Court records say Brev detected narcotics in the scooter Lee was riding. Lee allegedly then pulled a gun and fired at the heads of two officers, hitting Burton once in the head. A foot chase and gunfight with other officers followed before Lee was caught after being shot on his porch. His injuries were not life-threatening. Burton survived for more than a month. She was taken off life support September 1st before she died September 18th. Lee was originally charged with attempted murder while Burton was still alive. The amended charges are upgraded to murder with additional charges of being a habitual offender and the request for the death penalty. Lee has previous felony convictions dating back to 1994 for burglary, cocaine possession, auto theft, and narcotics possession. In 2017, a Richmond police officer said Lee claimed he was not going back to jail and would shoot any officer or agent that encountered him. A joint motion asked the court for a gag order on all the lawyers in the case, as well as law enforcement, public officials, and the families of Lee and Burton. And this is now the second death penalty case involving an Indiana police officer shot this summer. Just 10 days before Officer Burton was shot, Elwood police officer Noah Shanavez was shot and killed during a traffic stop on July 31st. The Madison County prosecutor is seeking the death penalty against Carl Boards. A judge is considering a defense request in that case to move the January trial to another county because of publicity. And I did reach out today to Officer Burton's family, Richmond Police, and the prosecutor for reaction to this death penalty request, but no responses. Again, there is a gag order in place, so they would be very limited about what they could say anyway.